Oh, hi, Daddy. I think I look a little different today. I'm, I'm filming on my laptop, so you can actually see I have arms. It's pretty exciting, huh? Today I'm here to amuse you with a story I wrote uh, many years ago, actually, and it's about something that's really dear to my ankles and my heart. It's called Happy Feet. <laughs> happy Feet. Today I'm going to address a topic near and dear to my ankles, my feet. Perhaps the most underrated set of appendages on my body, these guys are simply terrific and deserving of more than a little praise now and then. I don't know about you, but nothing feels better than having my feet rubbed. Just thinking about it right now is making me drool. Boy, my poor husband would rub them this very instant, I am sure, but he is hard at work right now trying to finish up his last paper of his very last, sem last semester of graduate school, and that is just a little more important. So for now, I will simply massage them with my words. My feet are not small and dainty like those you see in magazines. Nope. They are large and skinny and canoe-esque. They are a size 10. That is the biggest normal woman size. And I say normal in friends because I know I'll be getting 300 hits on this post and it will surely inspire bloodthirsty debate among foot people, the same way my blonde posts have taken on a life of their own. But I digress. My feet are big and I for one am glad. My sister is six foot tall and wears a size eight. You can imagine the teetering taking place there. Here, no problem. I am two inches shorter and my jumbo feet keep me planted firmly on the ground. Of course, I also got cursed with, Men with Meniere's disease, but I guess the big guy knew what he was doing, giving me big feet. Not a small thing when you suffer from Meniere's disease. I like being steady. I love my big feet. <laughs> my toes are all long too. They are so long, my sister calls them finger toes. I do not use my feet as hands, but it is comforting to know that I have back arms. Perhaps just for fun, I could learn to play the piano with them. My second toe is also longer than the first. I have heard this is called Morton's toe. I did not know that the Greeks felt this was the coolest, most attractive and ideal thing ever on a foot. Mostly because I thought it was a little weird. <laughs> My mom's feet look almost exactly identical to mine, except they are 26 years older. <laughs> It is really cool knowing what my feet will look like in 26 years. And we even share shoes when I'm around, so it's awesome. <laughs> she takes really nice care of her feet. Routine pedicures, you know, at least pre-pandemic. Tons of nice shoes, but now brace yourselves. She crams them into high heels every day for work. Ouch. Those poor feet. I remember when I worked in an office and had to wear pumps every day for work. Suck fast. The foot equivalent of wearing those painted on pants Olivia Newton-John wears in the very last scene of Grease when she and John Travolta are shaken in the carnival ride. All show, except pointier and more blister inducing. Since my feet are always there for me, I like to be there for them. And since I am home full time, I no longer wear high heels with regularity. Me and the feet like comfy shoes. In the summer, I favor Birkenstocks. Yes, I know people call them Jesus sandals, but if they were good enough for Jesus, then they're good enough for me. I also love Converse All-Stars. They are simply the best sneakers ever made. I guess you could say I really go for flat shoes. The flatter, the better. 5'10", more heel and I am towering above the population like an Amazon woman, which is actually kind of fun. But not for long, since those high heels make my big feet ache. In winter, I wear my Ugg boots. Mm. I have three pairs and they all look like crap. They are so beaten up. There simply is no greater boot. Why no one thought of bringing these to my attention 20 years ago, I will never know. My feet get crazy cold in winter. No matter what I do, they feel like two ice slabs at the bottom of a lake. But not in my Uggs. I never, ever, ever paint my fingernails. Well, okay, on occasion. But hardly ever. But I always like keeping my toenails bright and shiny with polish. 
Two days ago, I gave them a nice paint job. Two coats of 10-day chip-resistant splendor and number 49 Steady Ready paint. Why anyone would call rose-colored hue Steady Ready, I do not know. But I like it. It gives me an added layer of protection and cuteness when my toes are wearing it. I like to be steady, and now I am ready. Thank you, Sally Hansen, wherever you are. So let's give these unsung heroes their due. We all praise the heck out of marathon runners, nurses, teachers, lunch ladies, dog walkers, postal carriers, and everyone else who is on their feet all day. Oh wait, we don't? Well, we damn well should. <laughs> let's get a, give it up for them, too. All those people on their feet every day, working hard to make each of our lives better. And all those hard-working feet. Where would we be without them? Crawling around on the ground. I hope that you are doing great, Moo and Daddy. I hope that that made you laugh and appreciate your feet all the more because they are very special. And you are both very, very special to me. I love you with all my heart. See you tomorrow.